Hello, welcome back. My name's Ian Dodson, and today we're going to make rattlesnake pasta. What better way to celebrate this time of year than come in and have a good hearty dinner? This will be something I think that if you prep ahead of time, it's very, very easy to make at the last minute. It's also, it's Alfredo. So what's better than that with some spicy chicken, some peppers, some garlic. We're gonna kind of go through just a couple of the steps to make this easy for you. Okay, some of the prep work we're gonna do ahead of time. We've taken some chicken breasts. We've lightly seasoned them with some Southwest Cajun spice. This spice has a little sweet, salty, it has a lot of cumin in there, so it gives it that southwest kind of flavor. Basically, we're gonna cook these in a saute pan for about three or four minutes on either side. As soon as they're cooked, we're gonna put them in the refrigerator and let them cool down for about an hour. That way, they'll be a lot easier to slice. Okay, the chicken's been cooled for about an hour. This way, like I said, it will be easier to cut them. What we wanna do is actually just cut them into thin strips. I would cut about one breast per person. This way the presentation will look good, but also in every bite you'll get a nice piece of chicken along with the vegetables. The next step, now we've cut our chicken up, we're gonna dice up and slice up our vegetables. What I like to use in this dish is a red pepper, a green pepper, yellow pepper. It just kind of gives it that vibrant color as well as the crunch. We're also gonna dice up a red onion, which kind of gives it a little zing, and some chopped garlic. So on your peppers, basically all we're gonna do is take the sides off. Now, same as before, per person, I would probably use about one side of a pepper per person. After that, we're basically just gonna slice the pepper into little batons. We're gonna take our red onion, half, and then basically we're just gonna cut it into a kind of a rough dice. And then with our garlic, what we wanna do Take the end stalk off, then we're just going to gently crush it and then just roughly chop it as well. Now we've prepped everything, let's put this dish together. One thing we've gone ahead and done as well to make this even easier for you, I've gone ahead and pre-cooked my pasta. Now on this, today we're using tagliatelle nests. The reason I like using these is they're a little wider, a little thicker. They actually coat the pasta rather than using something like spaghetti where it kind of just slides off. So the first thing we're going to do is take our hot pan and we're going to add just plain, simple, heavy cream. To this, we're going to add some Parmesan. And then on top of this, we're going to add in our onions and our peppers and our garlic. I'm going to stir this for just a minute. On top of this again, I'm going to add our chicken and some of our southwestern spice. Just move that around the pan to get the spice incorporated. As this starts to warm up, the cream starts to reduce, the cheese will actually thicken the sauce as well. Just to give it a final little zing, we're going to add a little splash of freshly squeezed lime juice. And then on top of this, we're gonna add in our ready cooked pasta. Leaving it on the heat, just incorporate the pasta into the sauce. The actual pasta noodles themselves will start to absorb the sauce as well, which brings even more flavor to the dish. Once this has come to the consistency that I think just coats the pasta and the vegetables and the chicken, We'll go ahead and ready to serve this. Now the sauce is reduced. It's coated all the noodles, the chicken and the vegetables. And what we're gonna do is plate it in a bowl. I like to twist the noodles. This way we get a little height on the dish so it looks great in appearances. And what we're gonna do once we have the pasta in the dish, we're gonna finish this with a little chopped cilantro and some grated mozzarella. This is grated finely, that way it will melt into the dish. We're gonna take some fresh cilantro. We're just gonna lightly julienne it up. Sprinkle this over the top. And there is our rattlesnake pasta. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to our channel below.
now we've prepped everything ahead of time, let's put this dish together. See, that was good, but then that I stopped. Fine. Yeah. Why did you stop? We're going to start out with our hot pan. Now I forgot about the pasta. Now we've prepped everything. This could actually sit in your refrigerator. As I get more famous, can I have like help? 